So guys, it's no surprise that the EV competition is heating up and to stay as competitive as possible, Tesla is starting to focus on key areas that matter most that is no longer just the performance, but the battery and the ranges of the vehicles. With that being said, Tesla has made tremendous progress with their production in the US and partnerships in Southeast Asia. They are starting to roll out major improvements to the batteries starting with the Model 3s. Just earlier this week, Tesla had filed for a brand new variant of the Model 3 in China. This one could become the company's longest range model to date. Details coming out from China's Ministry of Industry and Information Technology, which released a new catalog for public comment, and in it, a new Model 3 Plus quietly appears, and while not its official name, many are already calling it the Model 3 Plus based on how it stacks up against the existing trims. Although this new variant sticks with a single motor setup, it brings a significant boost in power, rated at 225 kilowatts or just over 300 horsepower, that's a noticeable jump up from the 260 horsepower in the current rear wheel drive Model 3. And even though it's still a rear wheel drive, this version could actually deliver the longest range of any Model 3 to date thanks to some major upgrades hidden underneath the hood, powered up by a new lithium ion cell battery pack supplied by LG Energy Solutions in South Korea. It uses their latest M53 cells on a 400 volt NMC architecture. This battery has a net capacity of 84.7 kilowatts, which is about 5 kilowatt hour more than the current long range Model 3. And interestingly, it weighs less than 448 kilograms down by 8 kilograms or about 20 pounds. As for performance, top speed remains at the same 200 kilometers per hour and curb weights holds at 1760 kilograms matching that of the base Model 3. But the main highlight of this Model 3 Plus variant is going to be its range. Based on early estimates, this version can hit up to 800 kilometers or 500 miles of range using the CLTC rating. That's a 6.2% bump over the current long range Model 3 all wheel drive, which already tops out at 753 kilometers per charge. Other combinations of factors accounting for the significant increase includes the single motor, which tends to be more efficient, and the higher energy density of the new lithium battery compared to the LFP packs used in the base models. Putting it into perspective, the current Model 3 lineup in China includes three trims, the entry level rear wheel drive, a long range all wheel drive, and the performance variant. Dimension wise, nothing has changed. The Model 3 Plus shares the same body as the rest of the lineup. So while this new model doesn't look significantly different, it's shaping up to be a solid range upgrade. No official release dates yet and no words on whether it'll make its way out of China, but given the specs, this is one definitely worth keeping an eye out for throughout the rest of the year. So of course, this all sounds really incredible and with China having such fierce competition and tons of EVs to choose from, it makes a lot of sense that Tesla pushes out this longer range Model 3 to the masses and make sure that they stay as competitive as possible. But then of course, not pushing the rest of the regions and markets out into the dust. They are working on the Model 3 Plus variants in North America and hopefully in Europe and other parts of the world as well, we are starting to see Tesla ship over the exact same Model 3 Plus into California. They have been testing this earlier this year. Hopefully this is the first sign that they are going to start production over in Fremont factory. Now in other news, Tesla has just hinted that Grok AI might be arriving on older Intel based vehicles in the very near future. In Tesla's latest 2025.26 update, one of the biggest highlights was the addition of Grok Tesla's AI powered voice assistance. While the feature was officially announced and rolled out to vehicles, it came with a major catch. Grok is currently only available in vehicles equipped with the AMD processor, leaving out older Tesla's that use the Intel based hardware. Grok is easily the most exciting feature in Tesla's summer update, and many were hoping that it would be available across all models, especially being that it runs as a cloud based service. But unfortunately, that was not the case, and the feature was completely absent. However, with recent findings, there might be some hope for Intel owners as careful wording from Tesla indicates it could still be coming. The first clue comes straight from Tesla's homepage. The banner promoting Grok's note states that the feature currently requires an AMD processor and even as that the hardware requirements are subject to change, clearly leaving the door open for backwards compatibility. Then there's Tesla's official FAQ page for Grok stating that Grok may become available for additional Tesla vehicles with an over the air software update in the future. This line strongly suggests that Tesla is either working on support for Intel based vehicles or now at least seriously considering it. 
From a technical standpoint, it makes a lot of sense as Grok itself doesn't rely heavily on local hardware. The assistant works by recording her voice, sending the data to Tezza's server, and sending the answer back as audio. In other words, most of the processing is happening in the clouds, but the one piece that might be relying on local resources is the Siri-style voice animation that plays when Grok is speaking. This could be the reason for the current hardware limitation. Still, while AMD chips do offer better performance, Intel-based units are far from obsolete. They're more than capable of running a simplified version of Grok with less visualization, especially with a few additional tweaks. So at this point, it's not a question of if Grok will come to Intel-based Tezas, but when, and if Tezas history of rolling out major features through a software update is anything to go by, we might not have to be waiting very long. So there we have it guys, both really exciting stuff. Grok is likely going to be making it to older vehicles. There's no reason as to why it can't be and it's limited to AMD based vehicles. Then there's the Model 3 Plus, which is now such a big deal given that we have just seen the Model YL launch. This is going to be one that brings more range, more power, and it could possibly even come with the extended length, which we have seen in China and soon going to be making it all around the world. This is realistically the very first time in a very long time that Tesla has purely just upgraded the range with nothing else. So it seems like right now they are focusing on all the things that matter most and starting out with the range and hitting that 500 mile benchmark. Now I would say that once this number is officially achieved, 500 mile EPA to be exact, there is no other reason anybody wouldn't want to switch from an internal combustion over to an EV any reason as to why this just doesn't make sense. So I would say that Tesla really needs to focus on this and with all the production ramping right now for battery cells, LFP, the new NC cells, the 4680s, and everything else that's happening in Korea and China, it's an amazing year for battery technology. This is all gonna trickle its way down into the newest vehicles coming out. So really exciting stuff there. I will be continue to keep an eye out for everything that comes out, anything new that surfaces and updating you as quickly as possible. So I would love it if you stick around. Make sure you hit that subscribe and that bell notification if you haven't already. And if you were literally just considering clicking that button now, go ahead and smash it. And then head over to X or Twitter and hit me up at Hey Johnny Over there, you guys can chat with me, see things you wouldn't see here, and I will respond as quickly as possible. Anyways, this should be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is John once again. Peace out.